Good morning, jackhammers, and welcome to Velvet Hammer Fitness here on Patreon. Well, it is November, but we will not be chilly today, okay? Because we have a power and plyometrics workout that will surely heat your November up, no matter where you may find yourself on the globe and where your thermometer may find itself temperature-wise. So, this workout is going to be a super neat format, all rep-based. We're going to start with three sets of eight reps of a strength move, which we're going to do at different tempos, okay? That'll keep it interesting. And then we're going to follow up those strength sets with some plyometric drills, also all rep-based. We're going to hit single-sided work, double-sided work. We're going to be jumping up and down, and we are going to be having a lot of fun, okay? So what you'll need for this workout is your nice, heavy, challenging weights. You will need a sturdy box to jump on if you have one. If not, please don't worry about it. Do plyometric moves right on the floor like star jumps, burpees, uh, broad jumps, bunny hops, vertical jumps. Um, there are so many ways you can challenge yourself plyometrically without leaving the ground to get onto an elevation, okay? So that is all the equipment you'll need. You won't need much. You'll need your can-do attitude absolutely um, for some of these longer and challenging sets. And you will need a lot of water and a towel to wipe up the sweat storm in November, okay? So when you've grabbed all that you need and you've got your can-do attitude strapped right on, I will see you back here for your warm-up. All right, Jack Gamers, let's get this power challenge started with a good warm-up. All right, we're just gonna start with some butt kickers. Now, you do not wanna be hopping and jumping right away. Make these low impact, okay? I like to also reach and pull with my arms when I do these. We're just getting our hamstrings ready to work. So if you have a chair or sturdy elevation, you're going to sit up and squeeze. We're asking our glutes to work for us this morning. Because as you know, when our glutes are activated and warmed up, we will have better luck with those squats because we won't be using our muscles of our lower backs to compensate for the glutes not working. If you don't warm up those glutes, your lower back muscles will often try to take over when you're squatting and that's how you can get hurt. All right, let's do two more. One, and two, then we're gonna jump. If you don't wanna jump yet, you can make these super fast squats. We just wanna get our fast twitch muscles, those power muscle fibers, to start firing. Very good. We're going to go down to our mat now and further warm up our glutes with some fire hydrants. Here we go. Donkey kicks on that first side. Warm up the glutes from all angles. Other side. Flex that foot. Work. We're 
going to end our little warm up with some step ups. You can do these on a high or low box. I'm going to alternate which foot I'm stepping up with. I want you to squeeze those glutes at the top. Warming up the quads here as well. seconds. You can go up to your higher box. If you're feeling nice and warm. We're also warming up our connective tissue here. So important. Especially before you do a lot of heavy lifting and plyometrics, okay? So what I want you to do now, our warm-up is complete, but I want you to do two sets of warm-up squats, okay? With less weight than you normally would, okay? Just to make sure that you are fully warmed up and ready to lift nice and heavy, okay? So when you have those two sets done, I will see you back here for our plyometric power workout. See you in just a few. All right, guys, I hope you crushed those two warm-up sets of squats. I hope you're feeling ready to do this workout. We are starting with three sets of eight reps of tempo squats. Now, what that means for these three sets is that our tempo going down is gonna be a three count. So one, two, three, and we're gonna come up explosively and powerfully, okay? What that will mean for other sets is a different tempo, okay? So you can do this one of two ways. You can do three straight sets of eight reps with rests in between and then go into your plyometric moves or you can do a set of squats, a set of plyometric moves, squats, plyometric moves, and then end with squats. We have two sets times 10 reps of depth jumps to vertical jumps. So if you do not want to sandwich those in between your squat sets, you can do those two sets after you're finished knocking out your squats, okay? I am going to start my first set with about 40 pounds per hand just to make sure I'm nice and warm. We do have more time under tension with these sets, so it may be that even though they're low rep, you may have to go down in weight a bit to get them done with good, clean form. So don't worry about that, okay? Here we go. Eight reps. One, two, three. One. One, two, three. Two. One, two, three. Three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. Really push. One, two, three, eight. Very good. Mark off that first set. And I'll show you our plyo power move. All right, you're going to step onto your box or elevation. You're going to do a depth jump and you're going to land with your arms back, okay? So that when you land on the ground, okay, you're ready for an immediate vertical jump, okay? We're doing 10 of those. This time, I will sandwich these between our squat sets. Who's to say what I'll do for the rest of the workout because I'm just that wild. Okay, so get out there for your first step to jump. You want to land with a contracted core so that you lean softly, get into a nice squat position, and take off immediately, okay? We're preloading those muscles, and then we're taking off. Here we go. Ready? And that's one. I'm on my 20-inch box here. Two. Three. Give yourself something visually to go for here. Four. Five. Six. Seven. 
seven. Woo, having fun yet? There we go. Eight. Nine. Try to get a little faster as you go. Exploding up from that jump. Ten. <laughs> All right. You're finished with that set. Good job. Take a little rest. Get your breath back. Decide what you're going to do for your next set of squats. I think I'm going to raise mine by five pounds here to get to 45, which means I'm taking my inserts out and putting me another level here. Counts down. One, two, three. Keep your chest up, big chest. One, two, three, two. One, two, three. That's three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six. Really push. Feeling those extra five pounds. Seven, one, two, three, eight. Very good. All right, so that was 90 pounds for me. Mark that down. I'm going to sandwich my second plyo set in here. How's it going? We got 10 of these depth jumps. One. when I did not get in my heels. So always be thinking about what you're doing. Self-correct when you need to. All right, you have one more set of squats here. I do like sandwiching that plyo move in between the sets, especially since you only have two. But you do what you want. If you want to do your straight sets first of lifting and then Get into your plyo sets, that's totally fine. Just have fun, that's my only requirement. Get a drink. We're gonna probably stick with 90 here. And then I may take them up for the next tempo sets. Really breathe. Make sure those legs are ready to work for you for this next set. Remember that the plyometric sets are fatiguing them too. I probably don't need to remind you of that because you feel your own legs, but 
give yourself ample time to recover. <sighs> All right, let's go to the next and last set of this round. Okay, down slowly. One, two, three, explode it up. One, two, three, four, think about how strong you're getting. Five, six, seven, eight. Good job. All right, you're finished with your first set. Your first set of sets. Awesome work. All right, so the next set looks similar to the first, except that our tempo is different, okay? So, what we're going to do for this set is you're going to go down quickly and you're going to come up slowly. So, down, one, two, three, okay? I'm going to try to count on the lower face so I don't get confused, but as you know, that could happen either way. So, we're pairing this strength set with two sets of 10 reps of seated box jumps. I'm going to take my very fancy coffee table, set it in front of my elevation, and hit the box jump from seated. You could also absolutely do this on your BOSU, so I can show you that if you'd like. I am guessing I'm going to start with my lower box, my 20 inch box, before I go catapulting onto my 24, okay? All right, let's do this. Three sets times eight reps, tempo squats, down fast, up slowly. I'm gonna start with my 90s again, okay? Just to get the tempo right. Here we go. One. Two. Three, keep that chest big. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Ooh. Ouch. Mark that one off. Takes a lot of mental toughness. Get your elevation ready. Legs are on fire. Make sure you're in a good spot to do those jumps. And make sure your bench is at a good spot. Here we go. One. Two. You can jump down if you want. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Contract your core. Nine. Ten. Very good. Like all things, not easy but worth it. So we've got your first set of seated box jumps knocked right out. Move that elevation back. Your way. Make sure you rest your legs. I'm going to add about two and a half more pounds per side here for me. So I'm going to be doing 47 and a half pounds 
per hand. This is definitely party time in case you were wondering. <laughs> you're right in the thick of the party. Even though it may feel like you're just cleaning up the mess. This is party time. All right. Breathe it out. Shake it out. And we're ready for your second set. Okay, so we're going down quickly. We're down at a normal one count pace. Coming up slowly, okay? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Good job. Excellent job. I noticed my shoulders were rolling forward as I got tired, so make sure your shoulders are not doing that. I'm going to work on that for my next round. Okay. Keep that chest open, nice and big. Okay. Roll the shoulders down and back. Make sure your gaze is forward and a little bit up. Ready to knock out your second set of seated box jumps? Why not? There we go. If you've got two boxes beside each other, watch your arms. I know when we box jump, we want to launch forward, and our arms help us with that. So make sure you don't hit your hand on the other box. Here we go. One. Two. Do these as quickly as you can safely. Three. Four. Five. Six. Almost there. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Whew. All right. You crushed that. Mark that down. Whew. Move your elevation. Think about what you want to do with those weights. I think I might, just out of sheer meanness, use my full stack here. You don't have any more of that plyo move after this set, so we need to take a little extra time we can. I want to see what my legs can do today. There we go. I'm going to 100 pounds all together for my squats. My legs are just now recovered, and I won't say fully from the race I did with my dad over the weekend. We were running a long time. All right. Any of you out there who are runners, plyometrics and power moves are so, so good for your running. Developing your glutes is so good for your running. When you think about running, you think about hip extension, and you need powerful glutes to make that happen, and to make that turnover happen quickly and efficiently, okay? So don't, do not overlook those glutes. Do not overlook your power moves and your plyometrics, no matter what sport you're doing, okay? Here we go. Down fast, up slow. The up will be really slow, I can guarantee that. <laughs> Here we go. One. Shoulders back. That's three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Good job. 
mark that one off. You're finished with your tempo squats, okay? You're finished with your box jumps from a seated position. Now, I want you to take a little break, one to two minutes, before you get into some lunges, okay? Some tempo lunges. Our first set of lunges is going to be three down, so one, two, three, explode up, okay? And it's gonna stay all on the left leg. Our plyometric move will be seated to left leg box squat jump, okay? I may do that on my lower elevation. But you take a break, one to two minutes, and we'll get back for some more tempo fun. All right, see you in just a few. All right, guys, I hope you had a great break. We are doing our lunge set now. Three counts down, one up. I'm using two 30-pound kettlebells for this. I'm sure I'll be real sorry about that pretty soon, but you never know until you try. All right, so left leg forward for this move. Three counts down, one up. One, two, three. One. Two. Three, knee behind the toe. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Whew, nice. All right, your plyometric move here, again, is that single leg box squat jump. So you're going back, jumping off that left leg, okay? One. Two. Three. Four. Going to ten. Five. Six. It's a balance game too. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Oh, good job. Very, very good job. Let's mark off those first sets, why don't we? Whew. Did that a little rapid fire. So if you need an extra break next time before you crack into those single leg box squat jumps, you go right ahead. I'm gonna stick with my 30 pound kettlebells. I felt an ample amount of burning there on that left leg. Make sure you're ready. Get your weights ready. Decide if you're going up or down. And let's hit that second set, okay? Nice, good position. You can hinge those hips to get more glutes. Here we go. Down slowly. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Woo! Good for you, you're done with that. Mark it off. One more round of these. Then we have the unfortunate task of doing the other side. Oh, we won't think about that yet. Here we go. Ten single leg box squat jumps. One. Two. Three. Four. Seven, eight, nine, 
10. My 10th one about wasn't going to happen. Awesome job. Mark that guy off. Your last one of those. Whew. You only have one more set on this side for those lunges. Awesome, awesome work. Awesome, awesome job. All right. Hitting the left leg. Three counts down, last time. You can absolutely do this. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whew. Good job. Regain that balance. Get your legs under you and get your weight safely down. Awesome job. All right. Mark that one off. We are going into some more lunges on the same side. Different tempo. I'm gonna stick with my 30 pound kettlebells here. We're doing down for one count, three counts up here, okay? Our plyometric move will be two sets of box jumps up and over. So I'm gonna move my box out. I'm gonna jump up and down, up and down, okay? Hoping to goodness I won't jump up and over and into a wall or a couch or a set of dumbbells, okay? So make sure your space is clear. Make sure you're really careful jumping near weights or really anything in general. And uh, we'll get this next set started. Stretch your quads out for just a second. All right, one down, three up. Down you go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Very good. That's your first set. Mark that bad boy right off. Move my fancy coffee table right up here. And move my box. Hopefully there's nothing interesting underneath it. Life with kids. <laughs> All right. Make sure you've got good space to do your jumping. I don't have good space, so say a little prayer for me. Here we go. All right, each jump is going to be one, in case you're wondering. That's one. That's two. Three. Four. Five. Seven, eight, woo, nine, ten. Oh, very good. Let it rest. Let it all rest. That's one. Oh, 
through that box. Just for a minute. While you do your lunges. You guys ready for another round? Let's do it. Second round here for the lunges. Here we go. Up slow. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight. Good job. Mark that guy off. And get your rocks back out. Ready to go. And off we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Woo! You can start down here. Five as well. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Last set of your plyo move. We're going to do the last set of your lunges. Box back to where it should be without waiting for the little ones. It's going to be a nice challenge. All right, one more set of those lunges. And we'll move on to the other side. Okay? Here we go. No more plyo, all strength right here. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Very good, guys. You've knocked out another of these strength sets. So I want you to take another one to two minute break before we hit your right side. Make sure your muscles feel good and ready to work. And I will see you back here for some more tempo and some more plyo. Awesome job, guys. All right, guys, time to hit that right leg. We are starting with three sets of eight reps of tempo lunges, and we're gonna go Three down, one up, okay? So, here we go. Double kettlebells for me, 30 pounds per hand. Right leg forward, here we go. One, two, three. That's two, three, four. Woo, getting off balance a little bit. If you get off balance, just try again. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. I hope I did eight. My little wobble got me off focus there. So if I didn't do eight, you do eight for me. Okay? Here we go. Right leg, single leg box squat. 
to vertical. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, going to ten. Nine, ten. Very good. Very, very good. Mark those off. One of those, one of those. How are you feeling? If you're feeling tired, that's exactly how you should feel. If you're feeling shaky, even more so. Plyometric training is no joke. Tempo training is no joke. When you put them both together, it's really no joke. But somehow, it's still a lot of fun, okay? Breathe it out. Let's get ready for set number two. Three counts down, one up. So explode it up. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. One, two, three, eight. Very good. Get those weights down, mark them off. Let's hit your single leg box squats. I'll try turning this around. I keep getting afraid I'm going to hit my hand. Now what will probably happen is I'll miss the seat altogether and end up in the floor. It's a risk we take. One. Two. Three. Four. Very good. Last set of those. Unless, of course, you want to do more. In which case, by all means, <laughs> go right ahead. Whew. So I'll have one more set of these slow tempo lunges. Shake it out, stretch it out. That right leg is feeling nice and toasty already. Just know the second leg you do is always going to be a little more fatigued because it's stabilizing for those first sets. So, one more set of these three down, one up lunges. Then we'll go into quickly down, slowly up. Okay, here we go. Left leg back. One, two, three, one. Two, three, keep smiling. Four, it's amazing your body can do this. Five, six, seven, last one. Eight, very good. Put those weights down, mark it off, and you have conquered this set. You've knocked it flat. So the only thing that you have left to do is another tempo strength set, three sets times eight reps. We're gonna go down more quickly this time, come up slowly. Your plyometric move is going to be 10 reps of broad jumps to vertical jumps. So you're gonna jump, jump, okay? Immediately when you land, I want you to Bring up into a vertical, okay? I'm going to get everything out of the way 
that is going to potentially hinder me from getting that done. I may have a mat that scoots on me, but we will do our best, okay? Going down quickly, coming up slowly. That's never usually a problem for me, going up slowly, but this time we're gonna do slow and controlled up phases. All right, might as well do it so it can be done, right? Eat the frog. All right, here we go. Down quickly. Up slow, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whew. Nice. All right. We are going into those. Broad jump to vertical. Take a minute if you need it. That right leg might be on fire. Every time I say nice now, I think about my husband's experience at the DMV. He had a really funny guy taking this picture. And I guess he told him to smile, but then he stopped. And the guy took the picture. My husband's picture was hilarious, so that's one funny thing. But the other thing was, as soon as... He got the picture snapped. He was like, oh, nice. <laughs> oh, so funny. Okay, guess you had to be there. Here we go. Broad jump to vertical. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Seven, eight, nine, ten. That was a breath taker. Awesome. You got it. Awesome, awesome work. That plyo move is a cardiovascular challenge as well. Oh yeah, party time. Breathe it out. Every time you finish, think, nice. <laughs> oh, I don't know why stuff like that makes me laugh so hard. This people being people and showing their funny personalities just kills me. All right, here we go. Down quickly with control and up with control. Get your balance. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's done. Mark it now. Second set. We'll get that second set of Broads to verticals. Here we go. One. Two. Mine aren't as broad as they could be. Three. Because of my space. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, legs are burning. Keep going. 
Nine. Ten. Oh, awesome job, guys. Awesome job. Mark that set down. Feel extremely proud of yourself. Keep moving. Let your heart rate come down. You'll want to squat down when you feel like this, but try to stay upright for your blood pressure's sake. We have one more set of strength on this right leg. And then I do have a bit of a bonus for you. If you'd like, um, after we do the eight reps and have a little rest, I thought we could do about 10 high box jumps if you have it. If not, you could do regular box jumps. You could do 10 burpees, something like that. Something plyometric, 10 star jumps, whatever works for you. I'm fine with it as long as it's nice and plyometric or it can even be strength focused if you're joints are just done today. I realize that is an issue for some of us. So, and I won't say just some of us, that's an issue for me some days. So don't feel bad. You do you. Okay. Let's all do us with this last set and go down one count. Come up for three. Here we go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. You guys crushed it. Crushed it flat. Boom. Jackhammers. You leveled it. I'm marking it down so that I know I'm finished. And we have a minute to recover. I'm going to do 10 box jumps on my higher elevation. It's always good to push to that higher elevation when you can. Don't be afraid of it. But when you feel you're getting fatigued to a point that your hip flexors are feeling almost like they can't move, you can't get your feet up under you, take a break. Try a different day, okay? This is at the end of your workout. So just know your legs are going to be fatigued. Don't be afraid because um, fear kind of, especially on boxes, causes us to get hurt. But don't be afraid. Do what you can. When you start to feel super stiff, like you can't get those knees up under you, take a break or quit for the day, okay? You don't need anybody with bruise up shins or worse, okay? I'm going to step down from this box. Okay, if you're on your lower box, you may want to do these a little more rapid fire, preload that muscle by jumping up, come down, spring off of that muscle that is ready to fire because it was getting pre-stretched with that down phase of the motion. Okay, here we go. Good times. One. Two. You do as many as you can. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, almost hit my hand. <laughs> Be careful. Nine. Last one. Ten. Very good job, guys. You crushed it flat. If you want to do ten more jumps, or five, or thirty-two, you do them. If not, I want you to wipe off. Thank your amazing body today. And we will do a cool down when you are ready. See you in just a few. All right, everybody, let's get into our cool down by coming down to the center of our mats. 
We're going to take the right leg underneath the left. We're going to start stretching those glutes. Here we go. Let's reach up. Inhale. Exhale up and over. Our left leg is on the top. So that is the side that's going to feel this glute stretch the most. switch to the other side so the left leg is going to go on the bottom now right leg on top inhale up exhale up and over you may not be able to go very far with this pretzel stretch but that's okay even if you come here wherever you feel it in that glute is where you want to be Slowly come up. We're going to put both feet out in front for a nice hamstring stretch. So make sure you take a nice deep breath in and reach up and over. Slowly come up. Relax for just a minute. Shake out those legs. Fully relax them. Let's try that one again. I'm super tight here today. Inhale up. Exhale up and over. Slowly come up. We're going to spread those legs nice and wide. I want your chest to be facing forward. Inhale up. Exhale, go down into the right. Reaching for that leg wherever you can. Getting to the toes if you can. Stretching our side body muscles here, our lats and our obliques. But we're also stretching those hamstrings. Come up, reach forward. Ooh, that's party time today. <laughs> Up, we're gonna hit that other side, chest facing forward. Come up. Now we're gonna do that same stretch on the right, except we're gonna face our chest towards our legs. Center again, exhale down. Up again, facing the left leg. Excellent, slowly come up. Now we're gonna sweep both of those legs around behind us. We're going to get into a tabletop position, send our hips back, walk it on up. We're going to hit a few quad stretches, okay? So, left hand up for counterbalance, relaxing the right leg as we draw the heel towards the glute and drive the hips forward. All right, other side, right arm goes up. Left leg relaxes, the heel draws toward the glutes, hips go forward. From here, we're going to cross the ankle, across the knee, and sit back to stretch our piriformis muscle, which is deep in our hips. You can hold on to something here if you're having trouble with balance. Other side. Saved it. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna do some lunge holds. So send that right leg back. 
We're working on our hip flexors here. We're also opening up the chest and letting the spine contract for us nicely. Excellent. Switch sides, bring that back foot up, the front foot back. Excellent job. Step the back foot up. Get one last hamstring stretch here. Pull it up. Do some calves. Get against your elevation or against the wall. Other side. Let's circle those shoulders. Make sure we don't have any tension in our neck. Reverse. Cross those arms. And you are all done for today. Awesome job, jackhammers. I will see you back up at the camera. All right, guys, awesome job crushing your November jackhammer challenge. I hope you're feeling nice and warm now. I am anything but cold. Now, as always, what I need you to do is get a lot of water into your body today. Get a healthy post-workout meal, 30 to 90 minutes after this workout. If you have any questions about what that might be or how to put it together, if you need more concrete, detailed nutritional counseling, if you need online personal training or our four-week glute growing program, email us at velvethammerfitness at gmail.com. The Pipes program is coming to a close, so I will keep you guys posted every week on how I'm doing. I have a couple more workouts to film. I've got almost everything edited that I've done so far. So now it's just putting it together in a beautiful package. Okay, so when I have that ready, I will absolutely let you know. Foam roll some more today if you need to. Be kind to yourself. Rest some more. Be kind to somebody difficult. That may just be you, especially as these holidays approach and we all get super de duper busy and super de duper tired, okay? Make sure that your next right choice always includes resting when you can, okay? So important. Don't forget to tell your family and friends about Velvet Hammer Fitness so that we can help them and get them into this new year that is rapidly approaching uh, the healthiest they've ever been with the best perspective on their amazing bodies. If the only thing that I can help you with is gratitude, that is absolutely enough, okay? I want you to be thankful for what you've been given because there is absolutely no other you, okay? So, whether you felt like you were just absolutely the springiest thing you can think of or whether you had lead legs during this workout, you finished. And as always, it is your health today and every day, so you better hit it hard. Boom! Have an awesome day, guys, and awesome month of November, and I'll see you very soon. I am always proud of you.